Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Room. Uh, if you've been following me for a while, you know every once in a while I like to do the impossible. This is a uh, work in progress plane design that I made that is uh, rather stupid. Actually, when I say work in progress, I mean pretty much finished. I mean it flies fairly well. It's a little bit hard on takeoff, but it's uh, all right. I mean the normal version, rather, because uh, as you might have been able to tell by looking at this, the uh, this is the version that. Um, how do I say it? This is the version that uh, has lost a wing due to um, poor life choices. Let's just go with that. And uh, yeah, we're we're okay. Never mind. Never mind. I was gonna try to save that, but it it was not meant to be. That is one design that does need both wing, wing, both wings to fly. Yeah. So anyhow, this is the unnamed. I don't know what it's gonna be called because it's unnamed as I just said slightly inspired by Viper designed for high speed and pretty much nothing else although it is fairly maneuverable as well as being extremely high speed um, it's so fast that it will tear itself apart in fact that's how come I was flying it with one wing just then was because I let it get up to about 800 meters per second at low altitude and then decided to pull up very sharply I haven't actually tested how how fast it can go at these low altitudes and survive a um, pulling up at four full four full force so that's actually what I was in the middle of testing so let's get it up to let's try 500 meters per second this time and we'll see how well it survives that okay 500 meters per second and as you can see it pulls right out of it very very high G's but as you can see we survive it just fine I think I actually designed this while I was playing with G effects uh, after I made the video on GFX, which is a mod for KSP that allows you to experience blackouts and redouts from high G-forces like you would if you were an actual pilot. And uh, because this thing, as you might be able to tell by, oh god, there was a really sharp lag spike just then. Oh, and 600 meters per second. Okay, do not pull up this. No, let's keep it at full throttle. No, let's not keep it at full throttle because it goes far too fast at full throttle. All right, as you can see there, at high speeds, it, uh, at high speeds, it, it, um, okay, this is a major problem. At high speeds, I'm losing track of my, uh, what I'm trying to say. Okay, at high speeds, it has a tendency to, oh god, lose control, and, um, hold on, this is an idea. Let's fly it sideways. Look at that. Okay, so. We're doing a much better job of surviving now that we're flying sideways rather than straight up and down because that wing isn't producing as much lift as it otherwise would be. All right, so we've controlled the flight. We've stabilized flight this time. That's something I didn't manage to do last time, and that means we have a higher chance of surviving this. Now, unfortunately, we're sustaining flight at a very high speed, which means that if we tried to land at this speed, things would go horribly wrong. Also, we'd have to turn right side up, which would be very bad. So now I'm reducing speed to see if I can maintain flight at a lower speed. So now I'm pulling sideways, which is now up, and trying to see how slow I can fly this thing without crashing. And it looks like, um, it looks like it, it gets very unstable when I'm any slower, when I'm slower than what I was at. So. What I'm going to try to do now is I'm going to see if I can maintain flight, stable flight at a higher speed. I'm actually going to go ahead and throttle this right up. And because this is right now, we're just trying to survive at this point. If we can survive and get this into somewhat stable flight, then we can try to focus on a landing strategy. And so right now, I'm just going to kind of boost up the speed a bit. I'm also going to actually pull up which is uh, to the right. Oh god, pulling up is... This thing does not do well when you pull it up. And that's probably because it only has one wing. To be fair, I would not expect anything with only one wing to respond well to any kind of motion, really. Um, okay, I've managed to get us pointing inward towards land again. However, we are falling quite a bit. I'm actually going to cut the throttle right down. And, uh, because we're, we're going... We're going lower. That's a good thing. Potentially. I mean, if we're going to try and land, we need to go lower. I'm going to go ahead and put the landing gear out, because those will produce more drag while they're out. And uh, they're also needed for landing, potentially. 
and we want to see how it performs with those out because the difference in those out versus those in may be the difference in it being controllable or not or how it's controllable or not controllable as the case may be so we need to all right um we're coming down too hard too fast um thinking about what we can potentially do to stop this not stop this rate of descent not s but uh, s well slow down all right i'm uh pitching up more i turn the throttle down just a little bit more than it already was uh does this thing have any form of air braking no it looks like it doesn't okay so let's actually yeah we're gonna leave the brakes on basically at this point we're gonna try and um we're gonna try and land and by land i mean crash at a low enough speed to survive impact that's basically our goal right now because there's no way i can fly this thing the way it's meant to be flown at this point there's no way in hell i'm just i'm pulling up i'm pulling to the side as hard as i can now it's now turning on its own slightly all right i'm pulling up as hard as i can we're falling we're still at a way too high a speed all right i'm gonna try and tilt it i'm trying to tilt it i'm trying to tilt it and yeah that's just generally not survivable in that craft but yeah as i was saying this is essentially a uh, test aircraft for high speed maneuvers and just generally going super fast a side effect of that is that it does require a fairly high takeoff speed and a fairly high flight speed in order to stay airborne and it also is of course vulnerable to aerodynamic rigors of flight um, so it's recommended you keep it around uh, 500 meters per second as a maximum speed because any faster than that and you will experience severe problems. Now we're actually going to try and do a regular landing with it. So I'm actually just going to pull up, pull around. I'm actually going to do a little loop-de-loop -loop, and then I'm going to turn and head back to the runway. And we're going to try and do a normal landing on this which uh, I'm going to actually turn the engine up just a little bit. I think we need to be going a little faster than we are. And going to turn back to the runway. Like I said, this thing requires a higher flight speed to stay in the air because it is more massive with less wing space. As you can see, we uh, are pulling a fairly significant angle of attack. And uh, that is necessary for it to fly. And I'm actually going to deploy the landing gear at this point and the other thing is we can't have too high of an angle of attack when we go in for a landing because if we have too high of an angle of attack while landing uh, the rear engine the bottom engine rather there are two rear engines the bottom engine will collide with the ground and that will be horrible so we need to cut engines we're coming in too fast unfortunately but we should be okay whoop all right I cut the engine a bit too hard all right, and, ooh, that was a bit of a rough landing, but as you can see, we are now on the ground. We're, uh, unfortunately, looks like we're going to run out of runway at this rate. No, wait, no, wait, we're slowing down. Uh, yeah, we're going to run out of runway. You can hear the brakes just pulling as hard as they can. Oh, wait, no, wait, we're actually going to stop before the end of the runway. Just barely, but yes, this thing is landable. Although it is a very difficult plane to land, I'm actually surprised I managed to get it the first time. I was actually expecting to die then. But uh, as you can see, I have successfully landed it. And now I'm going to uh, take advantage of our very slow roll backwards to turn it around. And once it's finished turning around, or actually, uh, fuck it, let's go <laughs> at that angle. And uh, I need to let it drop down a bit and then pull up gently because you have to be careful about that rear engine that lower engine hitting the ground on takeoff and as you can see successful takeoff thanks for watching please help me come up with a name for this craft and as always see you in space